everybody, this is Ed the Smasher, and today we are going to look at a video that is sexist. The one different thing about this video that for most sexist videos is that the person being sexist is being sexist against her same gender. FUN! So, let's jump right into this. I'm going to be skipping out the beginning because all she talks about is her hair. And hair isn't very interesting now, is it? But, um... What I want to talk about today is, I think they're called women activists, women's right activists, and personally, I have an issue with them. Yes, how dare women try to get the same rights as men? And any other girl who's watching this is probably like, why? Why do you have, a, why do you have an issue with a girl standing up for themselves? I have an issue with it because a long ass time ago, women didn't have to work. Nobody expected women to work. Nobody, n nobody expected women to have jobs. Yeah, and they didn't expect women to be smart and have educations either. Except during the war, of course, to keep the economy going. But nobody expected, like, the women were obliged to have jobs because their role was to stay at home and feed the kids and clean and then go out and do what they want to do. No, they were stuck at home with the kids. You can't just take care of them one minute and then leave them alone the next. And what pisses me off is if somebody, Susan B. Anthony, had to um, ruin it by saying, I want a job because I'm tired of staying at home because I don't get none. If you're trying to say that she was the first person to stand up for women's rights, then you're wrong because the first person to do that would be Empress Theodora of the Byzantine Empire. And then after that, pro the Prophet Muhammad did that too. It's just like, can you just calm down? Can you just relax? Because I would be cool as hell if I had a man that would pay for my stuff and, and just have me stay at home and let me do whatever I want at home. You're acting as though women's rights is made so that women can't stay at home and take care of children, because that's just not true. My mom stayed home and took care of us well, when I was younger, and a lot of other moms did that too. You can still do that, you just have an option now. So I don't see why it's such a big problem. But I mean, maybe she didn't have it that well, but I'm cool if a dude wants to work and have me stay at home because I'm his lady, but now that all that's ruined, I have to get a job. What the fuck did I just say? Jobs suck. And it's not just that, it's not just the job thing, it's other things. Like, women feel that they need to be different than men, they need to have something specified within them to be different. Because I bet you a long time ago, the ovaries were called testicles once. That didn't make any sense at all. Ovaries are completely different from testicles. I know these things because I actually have a brain. Something you seem to lack. Or the same word, wherever the word testicle came from. Wherever the word balls started, they were called the same. But some woman had to make herself feel different and defiant from just the simplest shit to where she went up to them and was like, we are different, this is two different things, and she, you just have to make things complicated. And I'm like, why are women like that? I'm a woman, yeah, but why, why do they have to make things complicated? Because I've seen just stay-at-home moms and they've got Cool as hell live. I mean, hey, look at my mom. It's just shit. Cool as hell. But there's always those few women that have to have a problem with simple things. And that's just what gets to me. Yeah, because opinions are pure evil. Why do you have a problem? Why? I don't know, YouTube. But excuse my voice because I have tonsillitis. And, um, it sucks, because there's a hole in my tonsil, and it is rotting away as we speak inside of my throat. But anyways, back to those women. 
you know, I think as a as speaking from like if I put my mind in a guy's mind because I can't really say this as a girl because I'm a girl. But if I'm thinking as a guy, I think women are just way better with some duct tape on their face. I wouldn't be surprised if she was a member of this site. Right here, too. Right there. Right there. Because they just need to shut up. Can't they just make me a sandwich? Can't they just get naked? It's just like, come on. Stop wasting your time. Shut your mouth and do it. I mean, can't all women be like that? I have nothing to say. It would, honestly, I think, I truly believe that like, 57% of world problems would be solved if women just fucking shut up. Except those women in like, India or whatever, where they have to walk before the men to check for bombs and shit, and like, they get blown up before the dude does, that's fucked up. Cause I mean, that's just fucked up. You're blowing a person up. I mean, there's a difference between staying at home and being blown up. So, you know, the line stops around American traditions because that's pretty much all I know. But, but I mean, if you're an Indian woman and you want to be rebellious, and I can see why. I'm not even sure if it's Indian, but, you know, just being given an example. Yeah. But, um... Anyways, peace out, YouTube. Kind of tired. So, see you later. Well, I don't have anything to say. It was a stupid video done by a stupid person. Then again, so most of the videos I commentate on. Well, Zemma Smasher, and I'm going to go leave and do something productive with my life.